It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. T. Hank Robinson, who is the Director of the Office of Institutional Effectiveness at UNO. And today's question focuses on a Northeast Nebraska community that is working towards being an economic leader in the state. So today's question is, what are the things Norfolk has gotten right to position the community as a leader in economic development? Thank you, Brandon. I'm really glad to be here. And there's a lot to talk about actually for Northeast Nebraska. First of all, uh, it is really blessed with the number of people in this community and the surrounding counties that are willing to dedicate so much of their time and creativity to problems that other communities might almost find insurmountable. <laughs> One of the things I've especially appreciated as being part of the Growing Together uh, initiative uh, up here is seeing how both municipal and private and other public and employer partnerships can come together to leverage the assets of the area against a strategic plan that's really aimed at distinguishing Northeast Nebraska and its value proposition both regionally, across the state, and globally. Uh, one of the things I appreciate is that they have not turned away from complex, uh, complex things and, and tried to oversimplify them out of a desire to try to come up with some kind of action, you know, no matter what. Especially have been impressed with the way they've been willing to try to set the balance between employers' current workforce development needs against the long-term economic demands of the region. Sometimes those aren't, aren't the same thing, but from everything, uh, all the public meetings that I've been to, all the private meetings I've been to, I see an entrepreneurial spirit uh, that's attached to a legacy of and a tradition of excellence and hard work and innovation in agriculture and business. And I can't really imagine another region better positioned to take advantage of these resources and these people and deploy them in a way that's going to fundamentally transform the, in the economic ecosystem for the, re, the well, transform the economic ecosystem uh, for not only Norfolk, but its surrounding counties. And if anybody needs more information, uh, there's a lot of people connected with the Growing Together initiative, including with News Channel Nebraska, and I encourage them to reach out and get involved. Thank you, Dr. Robinson, for sharing your expertise on a topic that so many rural Nebraskans can relate to. For our viewers at home, do not forget that Access the Experts airs every Tuesday and Thursday at 646 a.m. and p.m. only on News Channel Nebraska. On our next edition of Access the Experts this Thursday, we will hear from Dr. Matthew L. Hale, who will share tips on how to protect yourself against Internet scams. Lastly, do not forget, if you have a question you want answered, go to newschannelnebraska.com and click on the Access the Experts link to submit your question. I'm Brandon Axmit. We'll see you next time here on News Channel Nebraska. Access the Experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.